Johnny Greaves, a race car driver for many years, racer of many things, not only that, but a team owner, a series owner. What drives a guy to maintain a schedule like that? Why do you do what you do? I don't know, I'm, I'm too stupid, <laughs> I guess. I, you know, I, I've, I've grown up racing uh, pretty much my whole life. And, uh, you know, I mean, I got into off-road because I used to race professional supercross and motocross and came here after a race one day and, and they were still running bikes back then. It, they don't do it anymore, but went out there and raced my motorcycle and discovered off-road and got into off-road. And, you know, I traded my dirt bike for a buggy on the way out the door here. So, uh, yeah, that's how I got into off-road. And, and since then, I mean, I've just had a passion for the sport and the UTVs came along and we started building a whole bunch of those in our shop. and. You know, I, I saw this need for like more of a kind of a local regional series that, you know, we, we could have a little more fun with and uh, not, not at this professional level, you know, and some people enjoy that, some people enjoy this, right? So I saw a need for that and, and we did that for a while and uh, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just wide open all the time. I mean, it's, it's definitely time to slow down. <laughs> well, it seems funny to ask a guy like you this, you know, with a resume like yours, everything you've accomplished, there's not much left out there that you haven't done already. But let me ask you this, what else is on your list that you want to accomplish in your racing career? Um, you know, as far as my racing career, I, I'm, I'm good with what I've done. You know, to this point, I've, I've been doing this for almost 30 years. Um, you know, I have, I've, I've accomplished everything I, I, I wanted to and, and won plenty and won plenty of championships. So I'm very satisfied with, with my career. Um, you know, now it's just focused on CJ and his program and, uh, you know, my grandson. He's, Jackson's going to be, you know, growing up one day and I just hope we can still have this all going on and, and, and I can take him from that CJ level. You know what I mean? And we kind of groomed CJ from day one to be. He started as a motocross racer and then we got into the off-road and, and he loved that and that was our new focus. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to things like that. I'm looking, I mean, I'm not saying I'm ready to retire. I'll, I'll keep doing it for a while yet because I'm still enjoying myself and as long as I'm competing at this level and, and not, you know, just taking up space on the racetrack, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep doing it. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to just kind of hanging back and being the team owner and manager and, and uh, you know, bring up some of the younger generation. And you talk about your team with your son and your grandson, the family operation, and you talk about the future. What are your hopes for the future of short course racing as a whole? You know, I mean, if it just keeps, it, 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 it's, it's moving in a really good direction right now, you know, and it's baby steps and, and it's really, I'm, I really appreciate the fact that Champ is doing it that way because you know, like I said, I've been I've been doing this for almost 30 years. I've seen many uh, series owners come and go, and some of them have taken more of a subtle approach. And then, and most of them come in and they, all right, we're going to do Cranon, and, and then we just we got to go West Coast, we got to go Florida, we got to go California and Georgia and, and everything. And, and you know, it, it doesn't work because we need to build it each time. You need to build our brand, you know, and get get everybody more aware and then expand as as it's needed you know as sponsors are pushing you that way and paying you to do that you know but to just say let's go do it you know you got to look at the group that we're working with here and uh, most of them are hobby racers right and they're not they're not ready to pack up all their stuff and their family and take all their vacation and, and go California for a week just to hit a race and so uh, anyway back to the what you asked you know champ is going in baby steps and it's moving really really well and uh, I think they're doing a great job just easing into it you know we're gonna expand a little bit next year you know talk of expanding one more after that I, I like it it's a good plan so uh, I think they're doing a good job and I think we're headed in the right direction it's just you know it's 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 like one of those sports that I feel is one of the best kept secrets because everybody you bring here and, and they see it for the first time they're just wow where's this been all my life and that's the problem is we got to expose it better you know but uh, it, it goes through growing brain pain, so that's that's how it works. <laughs> Crandon, we'll talk about this place. You know, there are a few drivers, and you know, arguably no drivers who have been as dominant at Crandon as you have. So, what's it like to come back time and time again and engage with your fans here? Yeah, I mean, I just love the fans. I have, 
as much fun hanging out uh, in the pits, um, talking to fans as I do on the racetrack these days because most of my fan base have been here as long as me, right? So, you know, they've been here for 20 plus years and uh, it's like every time I come back here, you're, you're seeing old friends. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm really fortunate to be in it that long and have that kind of fan base and, and I love everybody for it and appreciate it. And uh, it, it's great to be here because we have so many fans here. You know, everybody does. It's, it's the biggest race in off-road. So uh, it's definitely cool to come back here twice a year and get to see everybody and do our thing.